Hey podcast, quick session today. Uh, just recapping, I went out on a, on a little practice session this evening and uh, just playing around with a few things with chipping and pitching and working on some crisp contact. So just wanted to convey some thoughts that I had there. Hey guys, a lot of you are following on social, like you're on the Facebook page, you're on LinkedIn, you're hitting me up on Twitter, things like that. That's awesome, I super appreciate it. Some of you haven't subscribed, so I, I suggest if, uh, if you're digging these podcasts, get over on the website about-golf.org, aboutgolf.org, and go to the podcast page, and there's a whole list of places where you can find the podcast. That way you can get it on your phone, get it wherever uh, you like to listen to podcasts. So hope you enjoy it, guys. This is the Golf Essentials Podcast with Casey Bork. Hey guys, had a little practice session tonight, and this will be a short episode, but I just wanted to communicate some things that sort of I, I figured out about myself and thought it might be helpful to you guys. You know, so recently I feel like I've been struggling with sort of my pitching and chipping and making that sort of good crisp contact, especially on a tight lie or, or a lie that is less than perfect. And... Um, so I, you know, just had a good relaxing practice session tonight and, and came to figure out that I felt like I was, you know, moving my body center. So what I mean by that is sort of like, think of like your, your sternum or, or your core, just moving a little bit off the ball one way or another. And the moment I started thinking, all right, at least, you know, through the backswing, and then into transition down through impact, I'm just gonna focus on not raising or lowering my body and not shifting laterally left or right, sort of trying to find that position where you're, you know, if you're hitting a pitch shot, chances are your nose is a little bit ahead of where the ball is. If you're pitching, maybe maybe directly on top of the ball, that sort of thing, and, you know, try to, try to be a little stiller, a little more quiet over the ball. And um, I really started getting some good feelings, good crisp contact, playing around with some real shady lies. And I was really able to pick the ball cleanly and uh, feel like I made some strides there tonight. So I thought I'd convey that. And, you know, I think what happens when, when we get playing and you maybe you miss hit a few and you get concerned about it and, you sort of lose that that simple fundamental. Um, you know, if you're if you're moving off the ball, even if even if it's just millimeters, you know, one way or another, um, your body is either shifting laterally, like swaying one way or another, or rotating. You know, and for every little bit that you're shifting, you're throwing that rotation off, and so. I, I was just sort of feeling like, all right, I'm just rotating in a barrel. And, um, you know, you, you don't necessarily say keep your head down. I don't like that because that seems to inhibit body rotation through the ball. I don't like it when people say keep your head down. But for me, I was trying to keep my, my core of my, my body. I was, I was sort of focusing on my chest, letting that stay centered and just rotate around that sort of common axis. And I found that the, the club, especially with my pitches and chips, the club was bottoming out and making crisp contact with the ball really repeatedly. And then, you know, once I found that feeling, it uh, it translated to sort of all lengths of, of these sort of half shots that I was hitting. So from delicate little pitches all the way up to sort of nine o'clock, flops and even bunker shots that I was hitting. I was impacting the sand more precisely. And uh, so anyway, just a little swing thought, a little practice thought that I ran with tonight that that really seemed to bring some some impact for me. And uh, it's always good when you walk away from the golf course feeling a little more confident than when you arrived. That's the goal at the end of the day. And uh, so I had a little fun with that, and I uh, hope that helps you out. Maybe it's a little swing thought for you the next time you get out and hit some chips and pitches, or if you're at home in the northeast or, or up north where there's a bunch of snow, you know, give yourself uh, you know, a chance to, to pull out a club, hit a few practice shots, maybe put a little coin. I like to put a coin down on the ground, like a dime on the rug, 
and just try to sweep that coin off the ground and just notice where the club is bottoming out and um, you know just literally chipping dimes can be a helpful thing and uh, you got to really try to keep that extraneous motion to a minimum to improve that crisp contact so hope that helps guys hey if you like my stuff guys be sure to subscribe share it with your buddies and shoot me any questions you have. I'll be sure to do my best to tackle it in my next episode. Thanks, guys.